How's it going, brother? I'm good, man. How's it going? Good, good. Sean. Nice to meet you, man. Uh, do you mind if I have a discussion with you about the Quran? Pardon? Do you mind if I talk to you about the Quran? Uh, you ask a question or you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. One question, one question or... It depends on where it goes, man. I, I want. Because you see, um, I just sit up here and you know. Uh, mm. Well, before you get started, you know, and then and then we'll go on our way. I don't I don't need to be here long. Um, yeah, I, I've seen you at Speaker's Corner before. He could. Okay, he can record. He's gonna record me. Don't worry about it. Uh, but I don't want to speak on that topic. I don't want. I don't want you to record me. You don't want to be recorded. I don't want him to record me. He's not. He's not gonna record you. He's gonna record me. Yes, I am. Yes. Uh, the time of this, there were no camera. <laughs> wait, wait. What do you mean by a sincere question? The time of this, there were no camera. You were just doing the job. Wait. <laughs> let, let me ask you a question now. What What do you mean by a sincere question? Because everyone knows what it is about training on YouTube and social media, making money offline. I'm not like. If you wanna, if you, if it's about the matter of faith and a serious, a serious question. Yeah. Would the matter camera or not? I, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. So it wouldn't it wouldn't matter. Like so, the conversations that are being recorded are recorded for uh, people online, so they can also listen. Because there are a lot of conversations that happen where there are good information that are given, and a lot of people are not able to actually get that information out. So I do agree. It doesn't matter if it's recorded or not. But I believe that conversations like this need to be recorded. So if anyone has interfaith dialogue that these conversations could be seen because not everybody is able to go outside and actually uh, talk to someone who's on the streets doing Dao and stuff like that. Not everybody's privileged enough to do stuff like that or listen to these conversations. So in the best way that they can get it is online. So that's the reason why it's being recorded. But I do have a sincere uh, uh, question uh, about the crucifixion in the Quran. You already, you already got the answer for your question? Have I already? I'm asking the question? I would like to see what answer you give me. I've, get, I've, gotten, I've gotten different answers. And so what they tell us is, is go, instead of talking to people online, which I mainly do, they say go out and talk to the Dawa guys, go out to uh, Islam, uh, uh, the, the masjids and things like that. So, and so um, the answer they give you, are you satisfied with the answer? No, I'm not. And that's why I want to talk to you, because if you're here uh, doing Dawa, so then obviously you may give me a better answer. I question sincerely, because I'm um, respectful one ignorant of the question. Yeah. That I means they're not in an in a, a expert portion to say what answer to be, to be given to them. So, um, how would you determine if you're satisfied with answer or not, if you're ignorant about the question in the first place? Wait, I, I never said I was ignorant about the question. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that rude way. No, no, I know, I know, I know. I never said I was ignorant about the question. I'm saying I'm asking the question because I have knowledge on answers that were given. So that's what I asked you. Do you ask you before? Do you already have answer, the answer? But you know the answer I told you, yeah. You I told you, yeah. I told you, but I said I've got multiple answers and they don't sit well with me. But what they say is, is, hey, instead of talking to people online, these are where I got these answers from. Also, I've done my research as well, too. But they say instead of talking to people online, go out and talk to dawah guys and go to masjids and talk to sheikhs so this is what this is what we do so now it's let's go talk to somebody who obviously i'm sure you you must have knowledge if you're i know but i'm just saving you time and me time if you already um pick your answer and you already have the knowledge of it you're not ignorant of the question you know the answer yourself no i'm not saying i don't i never said i don't know the answer i'm saying i would like to discuss the crucifixion with you i'm not saying hey can you tell me what 4157 means oh. i know what it means according to different muslims that i've spoken so to long, oh but long, i would like to get your oh opinion on it because uh, like i said we have like two uh 10 15 minutes if you want yeah. five minutes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ten. come on give me 10 man give me 10. <laughs> Cause, cause you gotta go five, and then I gotta five, go ten, with it. Five, ten, okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. All right, cool. Yeah. So, uh, so four one fifty seven. You know, clearly we both know that it's it says. Quarter for, um, be, it's quarter past two now. So twenty five minutes wrapping up. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. 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 That's cool. Uh, yeah. So four one fifty seven clearly says that uh, he was neither killed nor crucified, but it was made to appear so. Now, according to my research in the Tafsirs, okay, uh, Ibn Kathir he quotes that there was some sort of swapping of a uh, of a body right um there's a story that he tells where uh jesus is in a room with his disciples and he claims that a young boy comes and raises his hand and says i will take your place 
But the thing is, he also, that he also states that Jesus asks people, who's going to take my place? And I just find it odd that, for one, the young boy asked three times and he said, no, because you're young. And then all of a sudden he says, you know what? Yeah, go ahead. And we'll, I'll, he'll go with the young boy. And then the young boy gets crucified instead of Jesus. And then all of a sudden, that the only cups here? It's not the only one. That's the one that I read. That's kind of... Out of all the cups here. Yeah. You say, well, okay. Hey, this is my <laughs> No, <laughs> man. No, no. I'm just, I'm just pointing out one. There are other ones where they say it's Judas. That's still problematic. And then there are other ones where they just claim that there's a swap, but they don't know who the body is. Uh, they don't know who that person swapped is. So, so hold, hold um, all right. Um, different um, comments you have current giving their opinion on uh, what are they taking. But the type of person was involved in one of the verse. Like, the word is clear. They're killing that not Yeah. But it appeared to them so. Yes, it appeared to them so, meaning they proceed so. So we understand that. Human being can have misperception. Human being, that's human being. Human being are not infallible. Yeah. You can walk and see a group of people and it's five pounds on the road and it's not five pounds. Yeah. You can in the desert and think you see, and, and think you see water, but you know it's not water. You need to go close. Yeah. That's human being because we, you know, we're not perfect. So we can have mis misperception. That's basically what the current is clear. Whatever, irrespective of what other human being coming to, I don't care who they are, whatever they come with, what their opinion is, their diverse opinion. Mm -hmm. But in the history of Christianity, before those Islamic scholars, it was likewise diverse opinion, same way on the same specific matter. Mm -hmm. I can give you 15 second first century Christians that deny crucifixion of Christ. Mm -hmm. Not Muslim them, 15 second first century Christian. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm pretty sure I know what sect that you're talking about, but they but only, the, they, the, they denied it simply because of the disbelief that God could be crucified. They denied it on the basis of believing Jesus was God, which is the reason why they could not understand how this took place. I know what sect you're speaking of, but the denying of the crucifixion doesn't mean that it actually didn't happen because in the Quran it states that it did happen, but it just well, looked the, like what, that. The point that you're um, the Quran, is, you, when you quote the verse, you say the quote right, the Quran outright yeah. goes against it. Uh, the, the Quran the outright goes against yeah, the crucifixion of Christ. This of, the, of the son of Mary, specifically the individual we're talking about. Correct. Correct. So, and, and, if, and if other scholars are giving their, their take and their opinion or the intricacy of it happen, mm -hmm. I'm saying to you, from the, from the own Christian history, many people deny crucifixion. Some of them don't even believe that he was divine. Okay. It's not, it's not, so it's not just saying, Umbrella, all of them believe, believe that they're divine and God cannot die. That's yeah. not the position. Yeah. You have sect like Pali, the, uh, you have one sect interestingly called Pali. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are many sects, 50 or I can give you 50 sects. I just don't believe really it's right. Mm -hmm. I deny one of them. One of them account is based off Peter Gospel as well. Mm -hmm. When Peter standing next to Jesus and says, I'm just saying, look at him and look at me. And Peter says, is that master, is that you they're doing like that? He just said to Peter, look at me and look at him. See the piercing in my hand? What question is now is depends which kingdom. If you were back then, every, every different kingdom is saying our canon is correct. Other one is versus them saying, no, our one is right. If you're born amongst those canon that they are Christian, mm -hmm. about those who are Christian, you be chanting the same thing as them. Well, if you're okay. Born one of them home. I wonder one of those parents. Well, okay, so here's the thing. So you said the gospel of, of Peter? You yeah. said the gospel of Peter? Yeah. Is it is it is that a is that a real gospel? Yeah, there's many other gospel that I said to you is they say you know they stole the statement the winner right issue they say. So, so But I've never they, heard of the gospel of Peter. Yeah, where where where's the gospel of Peter? Anything has been hidden from me. Like you, it's been hidden from you, me? You, you will you have the term apocrypha. Yeah. And you would take doubt, it means doubtful. That's what you would think. Okay, so apocrypha, apocrypha they will say thoughtful. Depends who doing the label. But apocrypha original meaning meaning something hidden. Something hidden doesn't mean something hidden doesn't mean it is not true. I mean that's tough then because if that's the case, then if you're going with apocryphal work, well then you'd have to kind of justify why it is that you remove the understanding of the actual gospels because if if Ma uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those are those are the. But 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 let me let me let me show you because those are historically attested 
have been historically attested to be the actual the gospels. The gospels like the compass, one no, but the, the point that the point that I'm making, you, the, the point. Roman guy, Erasmus. Let me show you. All my brain works for me, bro. Sorry. But the, the, the point. Well, one second, one second. Because the point that I'm making is, is this: it's not let's have a dispute about which gospels are real or not. The point is, is that you've now brought up apocryphal gospels, which are has been deemed false and forgeries and fakes by the history, by, you, by you, church you history. What I just said to you? By church you history. Have many different denomination. One, one, one camp canon is another camp, camp yeah. apocryphal. Right. And the vice versa happened. Right. So the one that you deeming to be legit, other people, other people with their camp are saying, no, that's not legit. Mm -hmm. So the question, the question is, who's, who's, I mean, but it's, but but it's, it's go ahead, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. The question right. is, you can make a choice and your own self determination to rule with who you want to roll with. Yeah. Me, I look at the whole thing comprehensive, and I look at people's motive and background, and see who I will roll, who I will roll along with. Yeah. That seems more close to the truth. Right. That's what I do. Stuff. I rather exhaust myself. But that means that the truth is that that means that the truth is skewed with a little bit of what you don't know and what you do know, in which we know for one hundred percent fact that. The Gospels have been historically attested to be the real by Gospels ooh, based by, by historians and church fathers ooh. and etc. Okay, so for one, four, okay, so for one, Aaron, guy, so, okay, so for one, Aaron, okay, so I gave you one guy too, Irenaeus. Irenaeus is a first century church father who literally attests that Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John were the ones who wrote their Gospels and they... See, the subject, the, the, the information you get on a... Uh, <laughs> We know the gospel that you have in Matthew, Mark, Ganja, like Graham Stanton, the monster monks, Christian scholar, New Testament scholar, who have many sub edit scholars on their way. Graham Stanton, the, the, the name Matthew, the, the gospel according to the family name Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Uh, unlike most Greek Roman writings, this is quotation. When we first found these, these writings, there were anonymous writings in the first half of the first century. He says, Who added the name? Is, the name is added in the second half of the second century. Who added the name? Is also anonymous. Go and research who's Grand Stanton. That's a Christian New Testament expert for you. So when you when you came when you came when you mm -hmm. saying right now, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. These are pseudo names added later on in the second half of the second century for convenience and to anonymous writing. So if yeah. You so be, wait, 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 wait. Let me finish your point, brother. If you want to be literal with truth. Because God loves truth literally. Yeah, yeah. Then you these these corner Greek writing that you call the Matthew Luke and John, there's mm. no Matthew Mark Luke and John. Mm. These are anonymous writing. They stranger author, you don't know who wrote them. Okay. That is the, that is the correct okay. position. Okay, okay. Well, okay, so here's the thing. So I gave you Irenaeus. You didn't really debunk Irenaeus, you basically just gave me other things that you use to try to contest the biblical okay. narrative of what we have. Now, excuse me as well, too, because Matthew and John were disciples, okay? So what I'm saying is, is that if we have history, that it, 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 the history of them being disciples... Matthew and Luke was coming from Mark, Virgin. The gospel is spread. John came, John gospel is from the other three gospels. Yeah, but... Over the course of time, it came later. Right, 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 right. What is known? Okay, okay, so, okay, so let me... All right, so, so, so let me, let me, let me, let me... Let's let's bring it back to let's bring it back to the point of where your Quran says what it says because here's the thing I asked you about the Quran and then now we're talking about the uh, confirmation or correctness of the uh, uh, of, of the Gospels which is completely different from what you're supposed to be trying to prove or or give me a point no 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 because Sometimes we segue to another because you, I've been a while. you said it was skewed you said it was said skewed you, and I'm, then you went and talked to the gospel I'm saying the Christian history of the same thing of, of the same of the same issue yeah. with diverse view on the crucifixion with 15 but that doesn't that doesn't 15, let me finish that doesn't prove of, your with view set, with 50 sector first century Christian first century for you know what that means Every Nine every view every Christ. okay, but but that doesn't mean that it actually never happened though. Just because that people have it doesn't mean that it happened, just though. just because people okay, but listen, just because but just because people have differences of opinions on the crucifixion itself, not right? Does it not mean just because okay, just because anyone can come out and say that it didn't happen or have a dispute about it happening doesn't mean not that it didn't happen. Me in old with colors in the ranks. Right, right, but me correctly. right, but personally, we need to figure out what's taking place in your paradigm now, because if we're talking about what's taking I place economically, 
Yeah, but uh, but right, but in your Quran it states oh, what. Fifty denomination. But in your Quran it states what. Hey, he, he's, he's trying to tell us what happened, and so if if all you can say is it didn't happen, and then you can't actually tell me what happened outside of that because it says one more thing. It says it was made to appear so. So I'm trying to get a little bit more knowledge on what it means to it was made to appear so. Now if you don't know. Then it's cool. Just say, you know what? Look, we don't know. We don't have that I knowledge. Tell you they perceive it so. They perceive that they killed the Messiah or the current And how did they perceive that? How did they perceive that they killed Jesus? How the does that happen? How does utilizing the human perception that they have? Uh, uh, how does how does utilizing human perception cause millions of people to believe yeah, that an event like that? To, but but I'm asking you, how did that happen? How did they mistake I him? To be, um, I perceive it to be from James from, from Brookstone. Okay, did Are anybody? Let me ask you this. Did any? Did, yeah, but that doesn't. But that's not going to spread and have millions of people believe that I'm James from Brookstone. The problem is, is that when you have someone up on a cross, someone needs to be taken off of a cross. Someone needs to be placed in the tomb. So if someone was taken off the cross and someone was placed in the tomb. Then it does. Okay, it, it, it would make it even worse if they left him on the cross because then they would know that he was never there. So you're saying, God, this is the way you should have done it, God. So money to do this. Man. No, no, no but what I'm saying is, I'm asking you, how did they miss, how did they perceive that Jesus was on the cross knowing that these things take place the in a public they, setting? That the gospel said they were bewitched, that I were bewitched. So they, so who, who, whose eyes were bewitched? You're not reading the gospel, bro. No, 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 but I'm asking you, whose eyes were bewitched? But how was being with you? <laughs> uh, John, uh, like, like, even John Gospel make it very clear, isn't it? John, you see, John, yeah, John Gospel John, make it very clear yes, that Jesus yes. was crucified. Yeah, but so, and, then, and then we're going to say otherwise in Scripture, we're going to show you have a contradicting book. So, so. No, we which, don't. What's your time? John 18, verse 6. Mm -hmm. Who just says in the God of Gethsemane, I am me. What's your name, sir? And he fell back and fell to the ground. Even Psalms prophesies on the matter. Psalms that they says, Psalms, this is give account for over 50% of the messianic um, prophecies. Okay, is that, is, is what you quoted, is what you quoted in John true? Oh, we understand some of you, if I can't finish, may the point I'm Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So Psalms 27, Psalms 27 is matching with John 18 verse 6. But it gives you more detail of what happened when Jesus says, I am he, and the whole entire Roman troop fell to the ground. That's a miracle. A man just saying, I am me. When you talk about miracle, I'm telling you one other miracle of Jesus that people don't want to oversight. A man just saying, I am me, and I will enter your troop, fell back and fell to the ground. That's some awe in that statement. Yes, Psalm 27 tells you exactly what happened now. When my enemy and my foe came to eat up my flesh, and they all fell back and fell to the ground, then God hid him. Just in the secret, in the secret of his pavilion, God raised him up. In the secret, of, God raised him. God hid him from them, and then God raised him up. Now he's in heaven singing songs of praises. But. That's exactly what Psalms. about Psalms 27 go to the detail I tell you I, what happened after they fell to the ground. I, I don't have a problem with Psalms 27 and the other verse that you quoted in John. We as Christians don't have a problem because that's in our Bible. The problem is, is that when we go elsewhere in John and elsewhere in Psalms, it's prophesying he will be crucified. John tells us he'd be crucified and he prophesies that he's going to be crucified in John and in John he's crucified. So you're quoting something where you say, hey, I like this, but then you go elsewhere no, 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 in John and say, I don't see it. No, no, no. What because about when John, that, what about when John says he was crucified? Because I don't have a problem with what you quoted. The reason why you don't set the sentiment of the message. But, 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 but re really quick, hold on. You, 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 cut, you, cut, you cut me off. What, right? I, what I quoted, you ignore it like there's no meaning in what I quoted. If I quote even 5 verse 7, if I quote even verse, verse 7, that he just in the day of his flesh prayed to God to be saving, and the scripture actually said that he was answered. Because what Bible read, the one said that he was heard because he's a righteous person, he's with a What time that, do we have? That answer is request. You will ignore that like you never heard that. Yes. No, I wouldn't well, ignore I it. I don't ignore. I, I, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't ignore. Don't, I, don't, I don't ignore anything in the Bible. So, the, so the the, the, the passage, the, he, you, 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 you're, you're quoting Hebrews, right? I'm where it says I'm he saying, was heard, right? I'm saying, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go somewhere else and show, and show me something that indicates crucifixion. So I'm trying to say to you, is, well, that's why I said to you, you can show me the book is a contradicting book. That means I'm taking a balance account. But things that I say, you're not taking into consideration. You're ignoring them. No, I didn't. I didn't ignore that. What I'm saying, I'm showing you that you're ignoring. What does Hebrews 5 verse 7 mean? What, 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 okay, Hebrews 5 7 means that he will be saved from death. He was. He was saved from death. He was resurrected. That's what it meant. What it means. He was saved from death. Doesn't mean he was saved from the crucifixion. Because if you read, if you, it, we'll it's stay, that, we'll that, stay that, in that, Hebrews. That, that Look, I'll bring in Hebrews. I'll bring on Hebrews seven, and we'll continue to read the rest. Of, we'll, we'll, we'll read. Wait, hold on. I'll, I'll pull Hebrews seven, and we'll read down more. We'll stay in Hebrews. 
We'll, we'll stay in Hebrews 5, Rosh and Rosh I'll read after 7. Rosh 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 from death? I'll, I'll, I'll watch this. Yeah. You, you, what do you mean, save from death? So while he pulls up you death, in the days of his flesh. About. The scripture is clear. In the days of his, of his flesh, of our prayers and supplications, strong cries and tears, it even, it even coincides with other places in the Garden of Gethsemane. That's what he's commenting on. Yeah, later, 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 he's talking about. later in the passage. Long before any alleged quote unquote resurrection. Yeah, but later in the passage, if you, you want to quote Hebrews, right? What I'm saying is, is like later in the passage. I, I answered what you said. You so asked me, what does Hebrews 5, 7 mean? You something that have nothing to do with it that, is that, that does attach to it. I literally answered what Hebrews 5, 7 means. Saved flesh, from death, not saved from the crucifixion. Him, my, is more advanced than mine. Okay. Just in the days of his flesh, what is coming from What event? Hold on, let me get Hebrews 5, 7 for you because you're saying, you're, you're saying that I'm not answering, but I answered you the and then you went to something flesh. else. You don't have to go somewhere. You can stay in the same scripture and answer it. So let's give him Hebrews 5, 7, and then let's see if he'll justify it through the Quran. Because he's trying to use the Bible to show us that clear, he's, he's trying to use the Bible to show us that it wasn't crucified. Why? Oh, you can't do that because the Bible. I don't know how to do it. For sure, today, killing that are crucified, it appeared to them so. That means they misperceive it. What else do you want from that statement? I, we want more detail. If you what can't give you us that, that statement? we'll give, okay. So let me that give you, wait, what, what, one second. Okay, so let me give you Hebrews 5, 7, really quick. And then let me read to you the very next verse. And then we'll see what you can actually say to that, right? So you brought up Hebrews 5, 7. So let's read Hebrews 5, 7, okay? So, who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplication with vehement cries and tears to him who was able to save him from death and was heard because of his godly fear. Though he was a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he had suffered. It's a different argument though. There's a full step it's not a different argument. It's literally the context of the, it's the context of the passage. It's the very next verse. It's the very next verse. You, if you're gonna run to that verse and say you can use this for your art, it's the very next verse, brother. The very next verse says he learned obedience through the things he suffered. What did he what, suffer? What, what, the next verse says that he did. What? Also the what do you mean? You, you said wait, wait. What does the next verse say? He did he die? Learned obedience through things he suffered. What next verse? Listen, 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 listen. And and, and the very the dead man. All the dead man. Yeah, yeah he, he learned. Dead right there. So let's read it the way you understand it. Because maybe I'm stupid, I don't know. It also so called Hila, No, Hila, wait, because Hila, here's, the, here's so the thing. Hila. Before you read, let me say you this. Before you read, let me say this. Because I don't think you're understanding that I'm giving you context. I'm giving you the context, you said right? You learned obedience things so far. Why you and I'm, I'm asking you, what are I'm the things? I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, what are that the things he said? Right does that mention death? Does that mention death? Wait, wait, wait. So you're taking that verse in a vacuum? The, the verse only, th this is the Bible right here, huh? Hebrews 5, 8. There's a full stop there. Wait, wait, wait. Is there context to the things he said? Is that full stop there, baby? <laughs> so, just, so, so Hebrews 5 8, that's it, huh? Just, that's it? Just Hebrews 5 8? Wait, wait. So it, wait a minute, wait a minute. So it, you, can, wait, 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 wait. wait. You, you gave, you gave so Hebrews. I'll tell you what, then. I'll tell you what. You see that kind of approach? You cannot take no verse of the Bible in a vacuum. You're going to continue to read until thy kingdom come. If you're going to play that game. Come on, man. No, 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 we no, can't no. do it. We can't, we can't. You can't stop at no point. We can't do. We, we, we don't stop at no point. We can't do that. We can't do that. So therefore, any verse you should, you're not supposed to quote no verse. Every time you quote a verse, you must read the, the whole entire Bible that follows after. So, it. so what if we took the Quran and then we read it like this through you, this lens? Do you heard? Come what on. if we took I the Quran more, and I we read it through this lens? I give it more that. Yeah, and blocked out I the know rest. You guys are coming to make it like this. We, we nah, did. Nah. Nah. nah, he 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 he's, he's Muslim. I debated him earlier. But yeah, but here's here's here's, 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 the, here's the thing here's the thing right okay and then and then you got stuff to do so I'll let you go but here's the thing right you quoted Hebrews five seven okay we know what Hebrews five seven means I answered it to you and then I read eight well, you, there were the, he let, look, but let me say, let me say he learned obedience through the things he suffered so here's one of the favorite verses you guys quote when he's in the what garden and he, when he's in the garden and he says not my will but your will be done so. What did he learn obedience through the things he suffered? Things is when he said, not my will, your will be done. Hasty, brother. You must read slow and pay attention to what you're reading. To you're not answering things. my questions. No, no. So, so, so what did I'm Jesus sure mean I'm when sure he said, you. not my I'm will, sure your will be you done? Understand the scripture. Don't just ace there enough on one like that. What? You read the scripture, you go back over it, and you look at it carefully. Things there is pluralization. He's not talking about one thing. That's what, that's what, wait, 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 wait. Of, of course he's not, of course if he... Things, if, if thing there is pluralization, is he talking one thing? 
you haven't given me you haven't you haven't given me one no I'm asking you a question and you're asking me a question I'm, I'm asking you what are the things he suffered we're not going nowhere we're calibrating on this verse what does it mean yeah you haven't given me the answer what does it mean by obedience he's by obedience, yeah. he, he learned obedience he through the things he up suffered. To, up to verse 6 is very clear. Oh, but, but you want to stop. You isolated, you ignored the two bits that's there. I, <laughs> I answered it. What have you answered? We, I told you what it means to be, I, I told you what it means that God heard him. He uh, asked to be uh, saved uh, and, and God heard him. him. What was said before for God to earn? There was a specific, you see, you, you, you outlined it, you need to outline it. There was a, can I, we read can the I, passage. Whoa, I'm to speak to you. There's a, there's a specific request made for a specific matter. Don't just ignore like that that didn't happen. It, it even mentioned what was the matter was to save from death. In the days of his flesh, that mean to be saved from death, a fisherman dying in the mean of no, death. No, 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 no. Oh, tell me, no. Oh, in other words, tell no. me how a fisherman died. It says, no, it says this. It says this. Tell me how a fisherman no. died. It says this. It says this. It says. The Bible talks about two ways of death. Let's give it two words that we describe on Bible and you learn the Bible class. Oh my Let's goodness. Go. You're not listening, brother. No, no. You never listen because you, I don't know. I've been listening feet. to you. Don't let me finish because you call feet. I don't know why you call feet. Listen to me. The Bible, we're learning from Sunday school from when I was a Christian. We learn to history. Yes. Uh, they teach us that the, they teach us in biblically, there's two forms of death. One is when you cut off from God, you become unrighteous and sin. The church teaches me that. Then the other one is the normal death, the physical death when your flesh dies. That's the only two that they taught me in Christian no, I learned that from them. No, you cannot you cannot say one of them no, cut off from God and become sinful is applied to Jesus. Not even no more to believe that. That doesn't apply to Jesus. Every Christian would say, well, you're right. So, so yeah, because you're can you're, I, you're can I, 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 can I thought you finished. I'm making the point. But you made a false equivocation. Can I, see what I mean? No Christian, no, no Christian believes that you just let me talk to him because he's he's thinking we're jumping in. Just let me let me let me talk to him real quick. No, no, you made a point. Just 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 let me talk to him real quick because we about to close out anyway. Because he's he's he don't he don't. They taught me two dead. Either one of them, you you fish the normal one, wherever you might be gonna taste. Your flesh gonna die. Yes? The other one now is you cut off from God in terms of you become unrighteous and sinful. Like when they say Adam sin. Yes, so they would have cut off from God. That's what they ask him when we say Jesus uh, died that <laughs> That's what they taught me in Christian. Yeah, he, that's, I just no, I, no. I told him that's not what it that's not no, what it means. No, no, so so not. so here. No, let me so let me let me say uh, something. Yeah, you, can we, can we, say, we, can you say something? We we heard you we heard you you've can been speaking. You've point? been speaking for like two minutes yeah, now. But, can you, but I never finished on point because you interrupt. Very rudely. You're making some, a lot of you see, yeah, you No, no, no one's you interrupting to rudely. Yes, I'm speaking. He distracted himself by another, another separate conversation. It's a lack of sincerity. I, I, I told him to back out, and so me and you can continue our one on one. I literally just told him to do that. Yeah, but, but because you think we're jumping in on you and we're I'm not. I'm saying to you, but if I'm making a point, if I'm finished the point, oh, you're going to interrupt while I'm finishing the point. When I'm okay, the point. okay, so we'll take about five. We'll, 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 okay, so we'll take. No, what I, no, no, what I'm telling you is this we'll take about five more minutes and then I'll leave because you feel like I'm cutting you off and doing all this. That's not what I'm doing. If that's how you feel, I don't well, want to disrespect you. All I have to do is a little patient. Let me finish the point. No okay, patient. so go ahead and finish the point I'll give you more than and me, it'll just be me and you until until the conversation is over so you won't feel attacked or anything all right so let's let's just finish the conversation one is the normal one where your flesh is dying yes she just was a flesh human being where well, he's got to face that one that one has got to be in the equation but the other one for jesus if you ever be a christian and say that one is in the equation you can't say just to come and rest and become sinful but it would have been shame and even most of the is Antichrist to believe that Jesus is sinless and yeah. pure. That's our position. That's your position. Are, yeah, you, are you, you done? Are, and every Christian I know of the same position regarding that. Just are you done? Sin. Okay, are you done? You want to cut the way? I'm still believing you want to cut now. I mean, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta jump in at some point. I mean, you, you just concluded on one point, and you want to. Is that a point I'm making? Yeah, you did. You, you concluded and you froze. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you. That the statement that when he said in the days of his flesh, mm -hmm. he's talking about to be saved from a flesh death. Okay. That's what I'm trying to prove to you with detail. We haven't proved it with scripture. You're just but saying only, what you learned. Now, so I couldn't get to prove it to you with detail. Okay, prove me with no to prove, prove, prove me with scripture. But you, but you so called for the cut the receipt that I was presented. Okay, prove it with scripture now. Because you're telling me what you learned in Christendom, that doesn't matter what you learned in school. You could learn something wrong. 
You haven't proved it with scripture. You went to a scripture and then you took it out of context so, right, saying that he's saying. Didn't you know the Christians they would say, okay, you know, sin is a cutting out from, from God and 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 and, 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 and that's what then entered the world because of sin, Adam's sin. Be a sincere Christian and say that. Go ahead, just go, just no, go ahead. No, just finish your point. Is that, you don't no, just, a just, just finish your point because no, we're going off somewhere. No, they want to when, when, when I don't give you, no one to introduce him, no? Because they don't want to come and, 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 and pretend the person and say, yes, we are doing that fine. No, no. No, 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 no. Because what you want to do is, is you want to, what you want to do is, is you want to drive home your false point that is not inconclusive. If I this if I, if I this and there you go, you cut a meal. <laughs> you just complaining about cutting somebody off. You cut me off every time I speak. Yes, okay. Which one of them is false? I'm, I'm been trying to tell you. I'm so, which one of the two so things Hebrews 5. Oh yeah, listen, listen, brother, brother. I'm brother, trying to answer. answer. Regarding, death, <laughs> regarding death in general, I'm coming to that. Forget about Jesus. Death in general. This is Christian teaching. Okay, death is what? The, what is death? I'm saying to you, the Christian teaching, you said this is false, what I'm saying here. In Christian teaching, teach that death, one aspect of death is when you're a person unrighteous and cut off from God. Like when Adam sinned and he cut off from God. He said, so what, that's one aspect of, of death. Another aspect is also the normal death where your flesh die, where everyone gonna face that normal death. What is false about that statement? Oh my goodness. I'm asking, so, what is false about those, those statement? Nothing. This, so why you say it's false and when nothing's false? Because you're not listening about what, what I, because what you're not, what you're not listening to, what I, what you're not listening to is what I told you what you were false you about. You said it's false. Yeah. You don't even know what I told you was false. What, what, what is false? What is false? Your, your interpretation of the connection to those two understandings of death to Hebrews 5, 6 through 8. It cannot be false because what? There's a linking word. And that, that mentioned there, so it's imperative to know what that means in Christian biblical. Okay. Can I, can I finish? It's, can I finish? Can I finish? <laughs> every no time, bro. But are, you scared, are you scared that I'm speaking? Are, are you scared? Every, every time. Ah. You've been talking the whole time. But it cannot be false connection when it's the same word, death, utter. Death. Okay, there we go. Is that, that Now, can I jump in? So okay, thank you. Part. Now, okay, thank you. Okay, now, be a part, they, part. okay, thank you. Well, now, but, 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 because but, you're but, saying, but at least, but at least, you're, no. You haven't let me finish. You haven't let me finish. As soon as you finish, you say, dude. As soon as you finish, no, you say, I didn't let you finish. Because it's such a one of this kind of. I'm saying to you, I'm giving you the receipt. I'm giving you the receipt. I'm giving you the receipt to show you how just the scriptures start right there in Hebrews 5 and 7. A physical death. I will finish concluding to give the receipt death. Yes, what you should have done is you can disagree when I finish it. Then you tell me why you disagree. So you keep that. complaining you about how you haven't bro, finished bro, bro. when I'm the okay, one who's finish, being cut okay, off. You shouldn't be speaking and you're speaking. I am the one who keeps being oh, cut you, off. Oh, you cut off when I'm the one who. who I don't need one. Okay. No, oh, no, 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 no. It's not. No, no, no. We're not doing. No, we're not doing timing because he keeps. So he doesn't want the answer. So he doesn't want the answer. So he doesn't want the answer. So let me say this. So let me say this. So he doesn't want the answer. Right. So so what he's doing is right. So what he's doing is right. He took the two. He took the I'm two. Not for no, no, I'm answering to the camera. So look, he took the two. You he took. Go, go, uh, you've been talking go to go the camera be, the whole time. Go go be, be be so he took go the two. He took the two. He took the two understandings of death. And what he did was, is he said, well, there's one understanding which is this way, and then there's another understanding which is this way. And then what he did was, is he turned around. Then what he did, he turned around and he made that in a connection with Hebrews five six through eight, and said, see, Jesus was saved from a fleshly death. Which is absolutely not true because the biblical yes, narrative, the because the biblical I'm narrative, it says in the days of his, his flesh. What does it mean? It says, why, 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 why it says in, that means that in the, flesh, in the days of his flesh, he that means that in the days of his flesh, he asked to Axel be what? saved, not from a fleshly death. Uh, no, he Axel, asked Axel, to say, be say saved. From what? Bro, it, he asked to be saved. From the scripture, tell you what he asked to be saved from. From what? It, okay, read it, read it, read it, read it, read it, read it. Because I'm, I told you. No, no, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I told, I told you. Who? We, I just read it to you. That is mentioned in the verse. Who in the days? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Who? So in the, you don't know that is death is present. Saved from death. A fleshy saved man, from death. A fleshy man praying. A fleshy life. I'm alive, man praying. To oh my gosh. Man. What kind of is he praying to? Oh my gosh. Look. I'm saying, which one you want to take? Which one do you want to take? To be saved, not to be unrighteous. What does it say that at? Yeah, I know. What does it say that at? It's beyond his pay grade. It's under his head. 
It's, yeah, no, 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 no. It's not over my head. What's over your head is verse eight. What's over your head is what's over. I'm asking you. I said from death. I, I answered you from death. You're not listening. I, I said. I, no, you're the only one talking. Can you stop? I said from. Can you stop that for a second? I said from death. You can't stop speaking. You're the only one speaking. You the You've been speaking for 20 minutes. Oh, literally 20 minutes. Oh, no. So I can be loud. That's all we All right, we're done. All right, we're done. We're done. We're done. All right, we're done. Nobody got it. No, we're done. Brother, brother, Abdullah, Abdullah, we're done. Abdullah, Abdullah, we're done. We're done. Abdullah, 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 we're done, man. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. And there we go. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm. I don't have no respect. I don't have no respect. I don't have no respect.